Okay, brothers and sisters, I'm back, part two, man. I was looking at that. I should have named this thing Back to the Word. You know what I'm saying? Hey, last days, hey, need to get in the Word because that's the only thing, that's the only way we're going to survive this as in what's going on because you're not going to deal with this in, in, in the physical and have a good outcome. You know what I'm saying? Because these things are spiritual, what we're actually dealing with. Because I, you can even, I even think about, I was thinking about um, Dr. Martin Luther King, you know, even though he got assassinated, but at the same time, he was walking in that love. See, that love conquers all. See, that love was dealing with things in the spirit. It was dealing with this spirit that I'm talking about, that love. So there's a way we need to approach it. But at the same time, God actually want me just to remind us, you know, as, as a whole, as a society, you know, we, when you look at America, you got to understand what we done done. See, you know, let's go back for a minute before I jump in Proverbs because I'm, I'm going to sew this thing up. Let's go back. We took what well, we took. <clears throat> we took God out of school. You know, we don't want to pray um, here and there. Uh, take the dog on Ten Commandments down off the wall. You know, start removing statues from the from the state, from the capital. Up there, we don't want, we don't want to go. That's basically what we said, and we let anything, we let that spirit come in. Now, by basic, basic, when we saying we don't want God, meaning okay, we let that spirit come in this house now. Now that spirit is up in this house, in this nation, and any and everything going on. I'm talking about he's wrecking havoc. I mean, oh man, I'm talking about all the stuff we doing, all all of all of the vulgar stuff. That's going on that we're doing as a people, and we think and we thinking God pleased with it. I mean, we, I mean, we 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 we're being hypocrites. We lying on one another. We, uh, prostitution. We got drugs. We got we got we got you know we caught up in all this politics and done left God. And you know we try to use the platform you know to deal with the politics and, and I mean and all kind of stuff going on in our church houses. You know these ministers. The sheep being pulled off of, they doing stuff, you know, with the little bars, or they taking money, or they asking you for your money. Then later on, they they being exposed, you know. So all this stuff is all messed up. It's messed up, you know. And then all because we as a nation, we we said we don't want to go. You know, we did that. You know, where the power at from the church? I don't even know. They powerless right now. You know what I'm saying? And the devil done pulled they card. And knowing that you that, that we hadn't did nothing as a body of believers, because right now this nation don't even acknowledge God. You know, you'll get in trouble if you say God too much. Like I said, this thing may not even get aired. I don't even know. But at the same time, I'm putting it out there. This is where we at. Now let me tell you what God said. When you choose to come to that type of situation, watch this. Proverbs. Proverbs, what? Uh one. 24. Let's start there. Because I have called, God said, and ye, ye refuse. I have, God said, I have stretched out my hand to you, and no man have reached back in regards of it. In other words, we don't want you, God. We don't want you. We don't want to pray. We want to do our thing. We want to do whatever we want to do. We want to party. We want to do all this stuff. We want to have orgies. We want to have sex. We want to do drugs. We want prostitution. We want everything legalized. Let's want reaper. Let's, let's do whatever we want to. We don't want God. Let's just say it for what it is. So, therefore, God said, but ye have set at now all my counsel and have none of my reproach. In other words, you, you, you choose not to deal with my counsel. You don't want it. And then God said in 26, I also will laugh at you when your calamity come and I will mock you when your fear that cometh. God said in this type of situation what we're going through right now, God literally said he's la he'll laugh at us. He's laughing right now because we are getting what we asked for. We didn't want him. But through this, he said, when your fear cometh and desolation come and destruction come and uh, as a whirlwind, when the stress come and all this anguish come upon you, then thou shalt call upon me. Whoa, now. Now you're going to call upon God. Huh? But I will not answer. They that seek me early, but they shall not find me. Huh? Everybody want God when things get bad. All hell done broke loose at the seams and everything. Huh? Bricks being thrown. Black lives matter. This lives matter. All this crazy stuff that we're doing. Flesh. 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 Ain't got nothing to do with the spirit. I ain't seen, I ain't seen the love of God in none of this. In none of this. I ain't seen the character of God in nobody. While all this going on. 
Then he says, check this out. Look, I'm, by y'all getting me all this sight. Then he says, for when all this come upon you, you shall not find me. For they that hated knowledge and did not choose it, um, choose the fear of the Lord. They hated the knowledge. You hated the knowledge. When somebody tried to tell you the knowledge of the truth, you despised it. You hated it. You didn't even want it. You didn't want to do right, he says. Then he said, um, they would none, um, they would none have my counsel. They despise all my reproach. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. In other words, you're getting what's coming to you. For they are turned away as the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of food shall destroy them. But whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. Therefore, understand that those who hearken unto me, then thou shalt dwell. In this time, we best get in this word. We best take this word for what it is, literally, spiritually, every jot, line upon line, precept upon precept, whatever. We need to get in this word because, th hey, this is the only thing that's going to stand through this test that we're going through right now as a nation of people. I want you to understand that. Now, with that being said, let me end with this. We hollering black lives matter, white lives matter, all this craziness. Listen, God say all lives matter. Jesus died for everybody. Understand that. He died for mankind, womankind, everybody. You think God up in heaven looking down here ready to talk about choosing sides? He ain't, he ain't, no. He created everybody. All lives matter. Huh? And this God life is it's within him. If you ain't got him, you ain't got life. Then he goes on to say, um, uh, and then we run around here and we thinking this, we arguing about whether we should stand or sit during a national anthem. We arguing about a song that was wrote by a doggone slave master, whether we should stand up or not. Who we going to displease if we don't and all this crazy stuff. Listen, you can stand, you can sit, you can do whatever. But I tell you one thing, when this, before this thing is over with, everybody going to be on their doggone knee. Because the words say every knee shall, every knee shall bow, every tongue on dog gonna confess. And you're gonna confess Jesus is Lord. Now the word says that. Now, the word says that. If we're gonna say God a lie, if that ain't true, then we might as well close the book, throw it in the dog on trash can. It ain't got no power to it. He said every knee gonna bow and every tongue gonna confess. So while we sitting here trying to rationalize over that, over a daggone anthem, we better get out, we better get ourselves together. And understand that we all going to take that knee. Now, um, and we're going to confess Jesus Lord. So with that, that's just a little bit, hey, part two. Hey, I'm eight minutes in. Look here, man. I love y'all. Hey, stay in the word. Get in the word. Not more than ever. It's time to get in the word. Time to quit playing. Like I said, Brother Harold ain't got time to play church with nobody. All this craziness stuff we done did in the past. Whatever. That ain't showed me no power. We done danced, hooped, shouted, ran around the church, spoke in tongues. We done fell out. We done covered each other up. We done pulled wigs off, stepped on people's toes. We done did all this craziness. Okay, now it's time to show some power. You know why? Because the Antichrist finna take his seat and finna, finna bust the scene and he finna come on the scene. Now, if you ain't never seen an evil uh, principality or entity, guess what? When it manifests, you ain't seen nothing yet. You think people acting crazy now, it's only gonna get worse. I'm your boy, Brother Harold. Stay with the word. The king is coming. Shalom, shalom.